Hey there, Vinyl community. It's Nick's Vinyl Picks back with another video. Um, so this video today is going to be a special one. Uh, I just got the Cadet, Story of Cadet Records box set from Vinyl Me Please. Uh, I ordered this months ago when it was first announced. I am thrilled to finally have it. Uh, I was worried it wasn't shipping because other people were getting the box. And this just showed up at my doorstep. A uh, nice surprise this week. But this is a really heavy box set, uh, as you can see here. Um, just really nice uh, packaging on this. Um, you can see the cadets label there, um, all the artists featured on the back. Um, and it's all featured in this really nice kind of slip case that includes all of the records. Uh, so you get that nice outer box, that's super thick. Um, and then all of the records are right here. Uh, so first, I'm just going to go through it uh, one record at a time. Uh, I just listened to all of the records in this box set just once, uh, just to start off a full listening experience. So these are my first impressions. Um, I'll certainly listen to more um, of the box later on, but listen to every single LP in here uh, since I started working this morning. So... First off, I want to mention there is a really nice booklet here. Um, this is a just really heavy paper stock uh, featuring all of the album covers from the box. Um, just super nice with uh, good essays um, and just really nice liner notes here that add more of a story to the record. Um, so just really good booklet here uh, containing a lot of really good information. Um, so you can see here, nice overview of each record in the box. Um, so this booklet, I think, is just so excellent and a really nice reading addition to the box. Um, there's also a podcast that goes along with the box that I already listened to uh, that is very interesting, but I would say actually the booklet is more substantial. Uh, the podcast is only about three episodes. So here we go. We're just going to go through the box one album at a time. Um, first off, I was just so struck by the packaging on these records. First up, Etta James, legendary soul artist. Of course, Beyonce Knowles played her in the film Chess Records, which I'd highly recommend. Um, and this is one of her most famous records. Um, it's been reissued a bunch um you know rsd essentials did a reissue uh jackpot records out of portland did a reissue of this uh but i don't believe those were all analog and most of the albums in this box are aaa uh they're all analog from the original master tapes uh the only one that isn't i believe is the second side of the ramsey lewis on this box but nice tip on jacket um just a really nice feel to the jacket as well um already impressed um you get some really nice um you know poly lined inner sleeves here which we always appreciate here in the vinyl community so i listened to this um and i you know had heard some etta james songs of course at last is probably her most well-known song um but i listened to this and there was a couple tracks that really stood out to me of course tell mama is just such an energetic opener it's funky as hell um, there was one song I wanted to mention, I'd Rather Go Blind, uh, which is a bit of a soul ballad that I had never heard before. It's the second track on this record, and I was really blown away by it. So really nice start to the box. Uh, this is just such a great record. Uh, Etta James, Tell Mama. Uh, let me go ahead and set that down here. Now, one of the uh, crown jewels of the box set that really made me want to order this puppy uh, was Dorothy Ashby's afro harping um of course one of the great harp players of all time uh this is a record that goes for hundreds if you find an original and it's really tough to find clean so i mean they replicated these original covers so nicely um i mean nice tip on jackets again just love the feel of this jacket um you can really hear the hip-hop influence on this record you know later on hip-hop artists would sample this record and you can certainly see what they take away from this. It's very, it's jazzy, but it has that hip hop kind of edge to it that would later influence the genre. Um, that's one thing that I love about hip hop is that they often sampled Blue Note records and uh, were very jazz inspired. So again, just really nice job on this. Um, this is probably my favorite 
of the box so far. It's a record I've always wanted in my collection. And to have an all analog copy uh, is just a dream come true. So finally, please, just really knocking it out of the park here. Um, another record that's just so hard to find clean that was definitely a reason why I wanted to pick up this box uh, was the Harold Land Quintet's um, The Peacemaker. Now, this is probably the most jazzy of the records in this box. You know, you get some blues in this box. You get some funk, some soul. This is really the most, I would say, like hard bop or post bop kind of record in the box uh, with some really good players on it. Uh, you get Bobby Hutcherson on vibes, of course, Harold Land playing tenor sax um, and then Donald Bailey on drums. Um, again, just replicating these covers so beautifully. Uh, I just I don't even want to take this out of the box sometimes because it's just so pristine and so beautiful. So these I really hope to keep in great condition for as long as I live. Uh, this is just a total grail for me. Um, so thrilled to have this in the collection and it sounds phenomenal. Uh, so again, just really great box set. I can't say enough good things about it. Um, and then we move on to a record I actually already had. I had the uh, Vinyl Me Please edition of this record, um, but Muddy Waters, we have Electric Mud. Um, this is a record that Muddy Waters himself really didn't like, uh, but I actually love the psychedelic feel to this record. Um, it's very bluesy. Um, it has that really nice photo on the back. And of course, uh, what an iconic gatefold there of Muddy himself. Um, I love this record, even though, uh, you know, Muddy himself didn't like this. It was very much trendy with the times of psychedelic music. And I love the late 60s psychedelic sound. Uh, so for me, this is just an essential blues record, uh, really representative of the shift in blues music at the time, uh, where you had people in blues music transitioning to more of a uh, more of a electric sound, uh, more of just uh, more of a psychedelic sound. Um, you know, Howlin' Wolf did the same thing as well, uh, a record that he didn't like himself. But again, just really nice uh, replication of the cover here. Um, really impressed. So this is a winner as well. Um, and it sounds actually a lot better than my Vinyl Me Plays edition, I think. Um, the cover is certainly much nicer. I mean, this is thick cardboard. This is like tone poet Esque, but a little bit of a soft touch to it. Um, not quite as glossy as like a tone poet, but uh, wonderful, wonderful. Um, so we're getting through the box here. Um, we get to another record that's a bit jazzy. Um, this is a lovely record by Ramsey Lewis, Mother Nature's Son. Um, I think Ramsey Lewis is very underrated in the VC. Uh, I think his records are very underappreciated. Uh, you know, for sure, he did some very commercial stuff. Um, but I have a few Ramsey Lewis albums that I love, and I'd never heard this record before, really enjoyed it. I think it's a great Sunday morning record. It's very chill. You know, I put this on in the morning as I was getting ready for work, and it just hit all the right spots. It just was a fantastic listen. Um, and all Beatles covers, which is cool, you know, pretty much doing, I think all of the songs on here are on the White Album, which came out around the same time in 1968. So you know, nice uh, Beatles cover record, um, one that's not so difficult to find, but it's difficult to find really clean like this um, with this nice tip on jacket. Again, just packaging, uh, just really great on this set. Now we get to some of the more funky records in the box. Um, this is a record by Shades of Brown, uh, which I believe is the only record they put out. Very fuzz guitar uh very soulful. It's just a fantastic listen from start to finish. And, you know, not a jazz record, uh, but if you're into funk, if you're into like that psychedelic edge of late 60s funk, you got to have this record. Um, and I believe it's pretty hard to find. I've never seen an original of this in a record store. Um, so another fantastic addition to this box. Um, so really good stuff. Uh, again, tip on jacket, really nice packaging. Um, and then we get to the final two in the box. Um, another interesting funk record, very soulful, uh, the new Rotary Connection. Um, you know, I would say this one is probably most influenced by soul music of the late 60s. It's got that psychedelic edge 
as well that was very popular at the time. Um, and, you know, Cadet Records, I think, just did psychedelic funk and psychedelic soul better than any other label. Um, I love how these sound. They're so dynamic. They sound so clean. Um, they're honestly some of the best sounding records in my whole collection. Um, now, this box set is a little expensive. I will not lie. Uh, it is not cheap. Um, but I think for me, it was totally worth it for what you get in the box. You know, the Dorothy, Dorothy Ashby record goes for hundreds to find a clean original. Uh, same with the Harold Land. So I think, you know, with all the other records in the box, this was an easy purchase for me. Um, and then finally, we end with Terry Collier. Um, this is a record that I was not familiar with. I was actually more familiar with Terry Collier's more jazzy stuff. I would say this is more soulful bit of more of a soul ballad feel to it, uh, but really good. This is a fantastic record. Um, again, just really nice typeface on this tip on jacket. Um, a fantastic record. I keep saying fantastic, but uh, every single record in here is just knocking it out of the park for me. So an amazing set. Uh, Cadet, there you go. There's the box set. Um, is it worth it? I would say so. Uh, definitely for me. I think of the Vinyl Me Please box sets that I've bought um, in the past couple of years, I've bought the Blue Note Records uh, Vinyl Me Please box set, which I think is very good. And I also bought the Grateful Dead box set, which was expensive, but it was worth it for me. It was a bit of a impulse buy where I just wanted to really go headfirst into the Grateful Dead's discography, and that was a good way to do so. So of the three Vinyl Me Please box sets that I own, uh, Cadet is by far my favorite. This is one that I'm going to be listening to throughout the month of April um, and throughout the coming year. So uh, there's another box set that released this year, the Shirley Scott, Eddie Lockjaw Davis box set uh, that is a close second for me as far as best releases of the year. So Really good stuff. It's a great time to be collecting jazz, to be collecting soul, and just vinyl in general. Uh, you know, an expensive time, but certainly a very fruitful time as well. So thanks so much for watching this video. Uh, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment below of what you think of this box set. Are you going to purchase it? Uh, let me know. And I'll be uh, shooting another video in a few days um, with the records that I've bought in the past month. Uh, so I'll be making that video later this week, uh, but hope you enjoyed this and I'll talk to you in the next one. Thanks so much, VC.